friends, welcome back to my kitchen. My name is Anna and today we're making carne asada. Carne asada is a Mexican grilled uh, meat. I mean, it can be grilled, it's mostly grilled, but you can also make it on the stove top and that's how I'm going to make it today. But it is perfect for barbecue season, which is shortly approaching. For the meat, you're going to need, usually you would use a flank steak or a skirt steak. I like to use flank because one, it has great, great, great flavor, and two, it's a little less, um, it's more inexpensive compared to a flank steak, but you can use either or, they both work beautifully. You're going to need a little bit of fresh cilantro, salt, pepper, orange juice, lime juice, garlic, a little bit of soy sauce. I find that the soy sauce really gives it that kind of like umami flavor that's just so so yummy um, I don't know I don't think it's traditional but I personally like to use it a little bit of avocado oil you can use oh, some canola oil kind of like a neutral oil and in here I have some oregano cumin and ancho chili powder the ancho chili has that kind of like smoky kind of sweet tiny tiny bit it's not really that spicy uh, flavor that just it makes this so so delicious the first thing I'm going to do is work on my marinade. So I'm just going to simply mince some garlic. Okay, this is looking great. It's exactly how I want it. It's very well minced. And now I'm going to transfer it into, as you can see, kind of like a shallow dish. I personally love to marinate my um, my meat in a shallow dish. I find that the marinades, it just marinates so much better. You can also do it in a little Ziploc bag. Now I'm going to shop my cilantro. Okay, so this goes into my little dish as well. To this, I'm pretty much going to add all of my spices my soy sauce, orange juice, now to this I'm going to add a little bit of oil, salt and pepper, my soy sauce, it's um, a low sodium soy sauce but if you're using a regular soy sauce, be careful with the salt. You obviously don't want to add too much salt. Pepper. And now, I'm just going to whisk my marinade. Just to combine all of those beautiful ingredients. Okay. And now, I think I could have used a bigger, um, bigger dish for this but yeah that's gonna work so I'm going to just really drench the meat in the beautiful marinade you don't want the meat to be covered all over and now this is going to marinade for I'm gonna let it marinate for about four hours I personally like to do it and let it marinate overnight it works best minimum I would say marinate it if you really have absolutely no time I would say marinate it 30 at least 30 minutes if you're gonna marinate for 30 minutes you can leave your meat uh, and on the counter you really don't have to refrigerate it since I'm going to marinate mine for three four hours I am going to put it back in the fridge covered my meat has been marinating for for three hours now it's time to cook it like I said you can do this in your grill but since I don't have a grill I'm gonna do mine in my stop top this is a cast iron skillet well it's kind of like a little cast iron grill because it has the little um, grill marks which I personally love if you can invest in a cast iron skillet any kind the one with the grills or the big ones you can make anything and everything in it so I recommend that if you can try to invest in one because I love to make my meat like steaks chicken pretty much any type of meat in a cast iron skillet it gives it the most beautiful crust it's just absolutely beautiful I did 
remove it from the oven, from the fridge 30 minutes ago, you do want to come kind of like to room temperature before you cook it because if you cook cold meat in a hot, hot pan, the meat is going to season, it's going to toughen, and it's not going to be juicy and soft and tender and delicious. So you do want to make sure that you remove it from the fridge about 30 to 40 minutes before you're ready to cook your meat. So that is what I did. I'm just gonna wait for my cast iron skillet to get smoking, smoking hot. And I'm going to pray to the gods that, that my smoke detector doesn't turn on because my neighbors are gonna be a little mad at me. So I think I might just open the door. But the thing is that if I open the door, then there's construction all around me so might be a little noisy my skillet is smoking you want to place your meat I did open the door so if it gets a little loud I'm sorry I just don't want the smoke detector to go off okay so yeah my meat is going I'm sorry if it's a little loud you can see it's very smoky and loud in here but my meat is going to cook I would say about six minutes on each side I personally like my meat medium if you like yours a little bit more rare then you can cook it for a little bit less but I think about six seven minutes on each side is going to be perfect for me you do have to keep, I am going to use my kitchen thermometer to check the temperature just to make sure it's cooked exactly how I want it. The heat is still on high. You want to keep it hot on high at all times except if your meat is just burning before it gets to the right temperature you want it. Then you can bring it down for a little bit. Meat is looking wonderful. So. I'm going to take it out because as it rests, it's going to continue cooking just slightly. So this is perfect for me. I am going to cover it. I'm just gonna cover it with a baking um, sheet. You can cover it with some aluminum foil because I'm going to let it rest for about five minutes, but I don't want it to get too cold. Okay, my meat has been resting and it is looking glorious. Now is the moment. So when you go cut your meat, it's important you cut against the grain. So if the grains are going this way, you wanna cut the other way. Again, you're gonna end up with a much, um, with a much tender cut. Oh wow, this looks beautiful. Just absolutely beautiful. Look at that. Oh. So good. Again, if you like yours a little bit more cooked, just cook it for a little bit longer. You can eat it with tacos, you can eat it with rice and beans, you can eat it over salad. You can just do so much with it. I cannot wait any longer. So I am gonna try this little piece right here. Mm. The meat is so flavorful. You can see the beautiful shard that I was able to achieve. Now imagine this in a barbecue with just some beautiful smoky oh, flavor. Oh wow. So I have my plate here. I would just serve it kind of like this. Wow, there's still a lot of juices coming out of it, but I promise you, I did let it rest. We have a few lime wedges for whoever wants a little bit more lime. Look how beautiful it looks. You can serve this with tacos. Today I'm gonna serve mine with tacos and it's gonna be glorious. You can do a delicious little sauce. Hmm. I mean, it's so tender. Get the full written recipe on my website, onitasdelightsrecipes.com. If you like the video, give me a thumbs up, subscribe to the channel, turn on your notification bell, and I'll see you in the next one. Bye-bye.